Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Rojas and you're watching another episode of Kiss Photo. Today I'm going to show you guys how I easily convert color images to black and white in Adobe Photoshop by using the Camera Raw Filter. The Camera Raw Filter is possibly one of the most powerful tools in Adobe Photoshop and it has a really easy to use interface. So before we begin, I'm going to note that you should be working on a raw file in order to get the best results from this conversion method. To start processing your color images to black and white, either press the Command plus Shift plus A keys or head over to your filters and manually select Camera Raw Filter. Here we can see an easy to understand interface which allows us to manipulate exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, and so on. The first thing that I'll want to do is completely desaturate my image so that we're only focused on the grayscale of the image. From here, we can see our histogram in the top right hand corner of our screen. And right off the bat, I can see this image is slightly underexposed. There aren't any highlights in the image. Now I like moodier images and I'm perfectly content with that. In fact, I'm going to darken this image just a tiny bit more using the exposure slider. I also want to be sure to add some contrast so that we don't have such a flat image. And when I do that, I can see that we're clipping our black point. I can tell that because of the blue dots that have shown in the image that indicate I've reached my maximum black point. Those areas are effectively pure black. If you don't see that indicator, press the U or O keys to enable your shadows and highlights clipping warnings. So I'm going to drag my shadow slider up to reduce those areas of pure black. Next, I'll brighten up my highlights to draw more attention to the highlights of the subject's jacket. And from here, I'll make slight tweaks to the shadows and contrast sliders until I'm happy with the overall contrast of the image. And finally, I'll use my clarity slider to add some contrast to the mid-tones of the image, which will help subtle details stand out in the photograph. And that's it. It is really that simple. While there are a ton of different ways to convert your color images to black and white, this method happens to be one of my favorite. Let's go ahead and look at the before and after image. So I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, you guys have a great day.